So often when I build vans and put videos out, it looks like it's a very easy process because, well, I have experience of building things um, and therefore can give this sort of false impression that's super easy. But the question is, how is it for the first time builder uh, and how difficult is it really? So I have come here to meet Josie. Hi. Uh, Josie is doing an ambitious first build. Yeah. She's a total novice builder. So today we're going to talk about how it is, what's your experience of this process, um, and just share that experience with you guys. So if you're a first time builder, you've got something to go on. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash, and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. Welcome to my home. Future home. <laughs> Future home. <laughs> yeah, not current, because this is awful. Um, this is my shoe cupboard, very important. First thing I made. <laughs> this is where I will, oh, there are my keys. That's good. This is where I will sit to drive the bus. There's a cabinet there. <laughs> then we're gonna come through here, and this is like, uh, this is my shower. Yeah. Um, and toilet opposite. I have a, like a separate shower and toilet. I'm really pleased. I'm proud of that. In fact, I feel like that's really fancy. Don't you think? Having for, a separate... for vans, that is pretty fancy. Yeah, really fancy. This situation, not this, but is uh, is like my L-shaped sofa. Again, bougie. I've got an L-shaped sofa and. which doesn't have slats in it and I'm just balancing on random bits of wood. This is my little frame, yeah, but separating the sitting room from the bedroom and I'm going to have little bifolding shutters that go back and then when they close <laughs> on your side they're going to have mirrors. That's really fancy wow. too. I know, it's because, I mean I'm a dancer so I wanted somewhere to like, <laughs> this space that you're standing in will be my dancing space and I will be able to like have a little studio essentially. I'm in very small studio but that's, that's the plan. Kitchen. <laughs> um, my oven, Pinky. Little oven, I feel like you can get a little pizza in there. And then this is my rather large fridge, which is pretty. Cabinets, blah, blah, blah. Me and Nate made this cabinet. So Josie, what are you building? I'm building a Mercedes Vario bus. This is the first thing you've ever built or ever yeah. di done DIY for? No, this is the first thing I've ever built. I don't think I even um, had changed a light bulb <laughs> before this moment. So uh, what are we going to do today? Okay, so today I've set out a special task that I actually can't do on my own, which is building upper cabinets here. It's surprisingly really difficult to build upper cabinets by yourself. So yeah, I'm pleased to have your help, Nate. So you you got a bunch of wood. Yeah, so this <laughs> this is actually from my um, framework that I built probably about a year ago that uh, didn't go to plan. This is, uh, so yeah, I thought so I this is So you basically, if you, um, you build it, it didn't work out. Yeah. But that's kind of like part of um, learning, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. It's like, there's always a price of learning. Yeah, this like, is the third time. Education, this. education is rarely free, so sometimes <laughs> you make mistakes. The thing is that like, wood materials, you can usually take it apart and reuse it. Right, because otherwise it's um, so expensive to go. Yeah, this is quite um, quite heavy gauge wood. So. Tools. So you're going to dismantle this and then figure out a way to... Yeah. Is it is there like a wood frame behind us at the top of it or are you going no, to put it into the metal? In metal. Into the metal, okay. Yeah, like literally exactly the same as this. Okay. It, it's a mirror. That's a shame. So plan is definitely going to copy this side. I reckon, oh, I think starting from this wall, one across there is the base and then one across there and then building up from there, attaching into the metal. Not that, because that's flimsy. And not that, because that doesn't have anything behind it. <laughs> that's the plan. What was the um, hardest part of doing the bus so far? Hardest part of doing the bus so far. Uh, oh, this is a bit like abstract. I think having confidence to to do what you think, if that even makes sense. So like, mm. you. Could, I feel like um, if, especially when you don't know, you think that 
you're like, oh, you you know that you don't know, so therefore you don't have the confidence to do something that, that you have thought of. But actually, I feel like with building, I've learned that you can kind of just try things out, and having that confidence to do that is a bit has been a learning curve. Yeah, that's been difficult and problem solving because like nothing straight in a bus van is it? So it's not like it's not simple. You have to go round like. <laughs> Around awkward uh, areas, and that's 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 pretty tricky. I would say that's hard as well. So really, what what I try and do if I'm building stuff, because obviously you can make all your plans, yeah. But you've got to work out what um how it feels, yeah. And like the spatial feel for me is really important. So then you can pretty much like kind of it's quite good because I can pour stuff and I can uh, test it out, and yeah. you can see how it feels. I think because this side is smaller than that side, yeah, I want it probably smaller, like you say. So, so say what feels right. Mm. It's here actually, isn't it? No, it has to be. Don't have it in your face, do you? Tiny cupboard. <laughs> really narrow one. Yeah. Yeah. You think? I mean, I don't know either. Nate, I'm making it up, aren't I? <laughs> so what are you going to get in these cupboards? It, it almost feels like you've better off turned into a shelf. Open shelf, yeah. With like, you know, like a strip going down the front and you can just store jars and stuff, mm. I don't know. I know, I, aesthetically I think I definitely want the cupboard so it matches. Yeah, I don't think any further than that. It's, it is so, tiny though, yeah. So the, your, your, your actual storage space is something yeah. like this? I'm having shelves here. Shelves will go way up? As in like literally just from here to there, mm -hmm. like just little ones like that and matching on that side. I'm having shelves coming up in this one. Okay. More or less that's directly into that though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So your cupboard wants to finish on the metal. So probably, I guess we put this one. Yeah. We'll put this one. Yeah. Whatever it goes. And then we'll build down, hang the thing, and then build frames in for it. Yeah, I'll do that. So measure. Straight-ish? Yeah, that's right. 110.5, 6, 7, 8, 110.8. I'm going for. How did you find starting to use the power tools? Um, yeah, really scary. Really scary. They're just very noisy, aren't they? Now I love them. I mean, you wouldn't want to do it with anything other than power tools because how annoying would that be? But yeah, at first it was like, um, like you can take a finger off. It's <laughs> never good. But you feel quite comfortable with them now. Yeah, I, lo I love it now. It is really easy, isn't it? Really. But yeah. like, it's just, again. It's a bit intimidating to start. Yeah, 100%. And also, if no one shows you, if you don't know, then then how are you going to, I don't know, how are you going to learn? And how would you know how to do it? Yeah. And then because it's noisy and because you can take a finger off, yeah, it's very intimidating. <laughs> How long do you think it took to feel comfortable with the power tools? I actually went and got lessons, actually, because because I didn't know anybody, like my mom didn't know how to use power tools, my dad not, like, and then nobody, I have no friends, but apparently that had like, could build or anything, like literally nobody knew how to use anything. And uh, so I was, so I was a bit like, I know people say they can learn off YouTube <laughs> again, but I just don't, and personally, I don't think I could watch something on YouTube again, get the scary tool out, which is really noisy, that's gonna cut your fingers off and then be okay about that. So I actually need somebody, and also I'm a kinesthetic, what's the word, kinesthetic learner. So yeah, I went and got, a, I did a little course on like, this is how you use a drill, like you take it out and this is how you put the battery back in and then, yeah, just- and that was worth it? 100%. Cool, that's great. Very expensive, but 100% worth it. Yeah, because otherwise I don't know how I would have done it, to be honest. In the truth. Mm. Oh, a bit more on this. <laughs> a bit more on this one. Wookie. 
snug as a bug. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Nate. Okay, so the next part is to make the hanging, like get the length. Yeah. And then frame it out. It's yes. gonna be really strong. It's gonna be. You might, you might get. I think with this, because you're using such massive wood. Yeah. You don't need a middle piece. Okay. So you could have just one long thing, and then you could just don't know how you organise it, but it would just give you more options, maybe. <laughs> So we've made the frame. Yeah. Made uh, the frame. What's next? How's it going to look? Yeah. Well, um, I haven't really got that far. <laughs> I can only do um, one thing at a time, Nate. Otherwise, it becomes like very overwhelming. So it's just, yeah. I feel like that's definitely the key to taking on something so massive. Is uh, if you focus on the whole thing as like a full project, it's like definitely can't do that. But like one little bit at a time is like much more manageable. I remember when I first like started telling people about like this as a project and everyone had like a million questions for me but I really couldn't cope with having it was like where are you going to park it where how are you going to drive it like you have you need a new license for this or like um yeah like I don't know just ridiculous questions of like uh solar and all these things that I hadn't thought about yet because the first decision was I'm gonna do it but that's mm. the number one and then you have to and then I had to buy the vehicle that was like my first challenge and then so therefore it felt like that was too much do you know. think sometimes people ask you like these questions when they're kind of really trying to reassure themselves that it's impossible they're like projecting yeah. like a, a feeling of insecurity and fear yes probably or yeah. maybe just people work differently like some people mm. like to have like know exactly what's going to go on for the future and have to buy whereas i realize that now i have to yeah break things down into small yeah. chunks otherwise can't but also when you don't know what you're doing you can't do that anyway no <laughs> so <laughs> basically yeah. yeah can't do that at all no even now don't even know yeah i don't even know where i'm gonna park it now that's been <laughs> how long Oh well, it's okay. It'll work Find out. somewhere. At the end, once it's done, that'll be the next question. Yeah. yeah. You'll live in it, it'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. <laughs> you please sit. <laughs> sit. Sit. So, what made you decide to convert a bus? Yeah. Got into my house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> reaching a. Reaching. Yeah, sorry, she's demanding. Reaching um, a certain age where I was uh, like approaching 30 and then realising that um, you can't buy a house unless <laughs> you've got loads of money or mm -hmm. you've got a partner or yeah it's definitely a two person thing and I wanted to because I'm living with my mum like currently right now so I wanted to like progress I don't know onto the next stage of life whatever that was but but able to do it just me yeah it, this felt like the most reasonable thing actually yeah yeah also cool because i didn't know where i wanted to live and then so this kind of gives you a bit of freedom with that doesn't it and, and you're yeah. um at the moment you're working as a professional dancer yeah in west end shows yeah, west end show. <laughs> yeah i feel like i'm just looking into like what comes next after like finishing dancing and stuff and this kind of gives me a bit more freedom to do anything really right go anywhere mm -hmm. um, and you just plan to travel a lot with the bus and yeah. find your way yeah find your journey i wanted something that's like going to be as because with dancing i've managed to travel but quite a lot and i wanted something that's going to be as exciting yeah i guess i didn't want to settle down in, in the normal conventional sense so this feels like building a home and settling down but with the ability to travel wherever you want and like yeah yeah go wherever and cheaper and so it's sort of like being an adult but like <laughs> not. not too much not too much <laughs> a little bit you don't want to be the toe in. Here too yeah. adult -y. yeah yeah just give it a try yeah see how it is to own a large asset <laughs> and i definitely think i really wanted to nest as well i feel mm -hmm. like that was a like i mean you said that this has mm -hmm. gone crazy with the design but i think because i've been like oh i really want to haven't, haven't yeah, had a yeah. house for like 30 years so this is it's like your creation and yeah, your thing my baby yeah and ha so overall um mm -hmm. How would you rate the experience of going from like someone who's never really built anything DIY yeah. to creating like actually quite an ambitious first project? Mm. It is. It's an ambitious first project to go from nothing to a bus. But that yeah. doesn't. Mean, it's not to say you can't do it at all. It's just. It's just you know. It's a big jump. Yeah. So there's obviously like a, a lot of long journey of learning and skills. Yeah. How, how, how would you find that process? What would your experiences? Would you recommend other people to, to try that? I actually think it's the best thing. I've ever done ever oh wow yeah that's really cool <laughs> yeah i think just from uh 
like just learning again like mm -hmm. because school was such a long time ago yeah not that i necessarily learned things like this you know like but this feels like it's something that i was interested in and it feels completely enabling to be able to like now do it compared to how just i think before i always had this image of like oh i'll meet someone mm -hmm. and then we can do that together because they'll have all the yeah, knowledge yeah. or whatever so then me going okay maybe i need to be that person essentially for myself has been like so it's like life -changing, self actually. um becoming self-reliant completely and just realizing that you actually can and you can do whatever you want to do really if you, yeah, yeah but i mean it's a lot of hard work i'm not yeah and there's and yeah, yeah the struggle's been real but at the same time it's <laughs> yeah. like it's but been really any good. any new skill to go from zero Definitely. to semi-decent is like a yeah. real journey especially like figuring out more more or less on your own that's like yeah. a lot it's a lot to contend with would you say the hardest part of the process has been oh, i feel like everything has been hard in its own <laughs> <laughs> like even like even buying this bus was a nightmare it's quite like, stressful cause, yeah because i didn't yeah. i didn't know anything about mechanics i'd never bought a vehicle before ever i'd so, always had like hand-me-down cars and then uh I think it's anything when you don't know something like when you're when you and then also feeling like you don't have anyone you can rely on in that way it's scary so like every every single part has been there's an element of like fuck i don't know what i'm doing sorry and how, how's the um <laughs> what's how do you go get over that part so you're in a point where you're like i don't know how to do this i don't have anyone who's gonna help yeah, me help you and then how do you like make the leap it's, it's learning isn't it so like I remember I think when I found out I was stressing out about the car like just buying this for example and then I was researching that you can bring the AA or something with you mm. and I don't know just having a little bit like I just like yeah, back up yeah just learning yeah. yeah in some extent I always think that you kind of basically you just got to like do it yeah like out. yeah you've yeah. got to accept that it might actually go a bit wrong yeah and you might have some mechanic problem yeah and like, but usually it's fixable yeah. or you know I mean it's the same you know like the framework you brought in which you took out at some other point before <laughs> like you went for it didn't quite work out mm. but now you're making much better framework definitely it's fine. yeah I think that actually is key that it doesn't have to go right the first time and that it's okay to that it goes wrong and it'll be fine you just have to as long as, you don't, yeah, as long as you don't like it take over that element of like failing it's the failing thing isn't it like you don't want to fail yeah but you probably will a million times before it goes right when you said you're gonna do it were people like a bit doubtful of your ability yeah. my key people were like good and yeah. i think that was okay and then everybody else who was like so my mom it was my mom was like she was like, yeah, okay, fine. And I think had she have been negative, I don't, I'm not sure I would have done it actually. Yeah, but everybody, uh, but because I had that, yeah, key people and a couple of my best friends were like, yeah, totally, you can do that. But I think, um, like, it's taken me a long time. Like, I've been doing this for like a year and a half. It's ridiculous. But you're also working. And yeah, you haven't been able to come here for pandemic. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a tragedy you couldn't work all for the pandemic on it no, because no, no. <laughs> the, 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 uh, her yard was shut. So she couldn't come here during the pandemic. So I was, I was building a house over the pandemic and then therefore it was like the absolute best thing I could possibly yeah, be doing. Amazing. Can't travel, can't do much, yeah. just like, mm. so good. it's like you're locked down to your house, <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. How many more months do you think you've got to finish? Okay, so my new aim, <laughs> <laughs> my new aim is September. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's realistic though. Like you say, I feel like, um, especially with the decor, like I want to go full out with that really. Yeah, so I kind of yeah. want to take time, but I would like everything structurally done. I mean, it's coming together way more than I thought. Like the fact that I, I made a draw the other day, like that making a draw is like, wow, well, that's kind of a finished, that's yeah, a finished yeah. product. So that feels like it's coming along. Things, once you've got your systems in, yeah, and then you're like sort of paneling in things and covering up. <laughs> Gonna live down there now forever. That's actually where she's supposed to live. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, so once you've got your systems in and done your shower cubicle and drain and everything, yeah. then like you're like yeah, then you'll be racing ahead because I think like with a van conversion you have this process where you do all of this like insulation and wiring and all the stuff behind the scenes and it feels like it just gets uglier and you don't seem to like be building things. But when you're at this phase where you're like oh yeah. I can make framework and stuff starts to look like the shape of 
the van mm. you end then like I don't know then I feel like suddenly it's like quite it motivating quickly, yeah. yeah yeah or motivating at least because you can see it and then that yeah. last bit where you're trying to tidy it up is very slow <laughs> so you're you're filming as yes. you build and you're making YouTube videos which oh. actually I'm not I'm not like overselling it it's they're really good <laughs> they're like, they're, like like they're better than most of my vlogs so because no. most of mine are like quite linear but she really goes into the story <laughs> and the journey and it's really good so um i highly encourage you to check out mm. josie's youtube channel and you can find the link there it's that side okay. links there go to her youtube channel subscribe to her um, <laughs> it's really Thank really you. really nice content how have you been finding filming and creating yeah i was just saying to nate that's probably why it's taken me so long as well it's, it's a, a solo woman show so mm -hmm. you know editing filming setting building up, setting up the camera yeah. doing the thing it yeah. just takes a lot of Getting like Winnie in the right position it's all like quite Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, just find I like it though. There's like, I don't know, it's, it's annoying, but then it's quite cool because you have this like oh, amazing. result. But like, I find it because also I'm always like, I'm focused on building, but then I have to like set up the camera, do yeah. the thing, and then yeah. like, it just adds another layer yeah, of definitely. annoyance. Yeah. But well, actually, see, the end result is quite I like good. it though, but I think yeah. that's probably more in line with my job, isn't it? Like being a dancer and stuff. So I quite like the. The creative I feel like that's like the creative side of it you know? yeah yeah like the film yeah. side. yeah yeah, yeah and really yeah. nice to have the videos afterwards once it's all done it's gonna no, be no, so nice to have a process isn't it you can check out my youtube channel at bus off with Josie and my instagram is bus off bus dot off <laughs> cheese yeah you need a category c1 license for this one um which is basically just like a, a bigger van I think but I uh story I uh I <laughs> went to go and take my category, what I thought was category C1, ended up being a category C, which is, um, <laughs> it's really, really big lorries. So I ended up having to drive the big Atlantic. lorries around. Yeah, well, I, I failed it as well, which is really annoying. So yeah, I've actually got a retest on next month. So fingers crossed. Because otherwise, that's very expensive, again try and retake that. Anyway, that's really embarrassing, isn't it? Not really. Yeah, it is. How many people can drive an Arctic lorry? I mean, yeah, that would be cool if I could do it. And, I, and actually, they were like, oh, do you want to change to do just a C1 license this time? And I was like, nah, come on, let's go for the big lorry. Because then I have, like, <laughs> that's quite cool, though, because then yeah, I can yeah. drive anything yeah. other than that. And if I wanted to upsize from this van, yeah, yeah. I could get a, one of those big American school buses or something. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.